Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's One Piece Treasure Cruise video I will be showcasing one team for you to gain tons of EXP in the new Armor Division event against Sasaki. This of course is not going to be a full boosted team since we are going to use double jack but I still have some boosted units in the team so you can gain some points alongside EXP as well. I have also built a full boosted team without of course focusing on EXP gain but I need a friend Captain V to Frankie, the new dual unit, that no one apparently has at the moment which is at the same time good because you should not be pulling in this garbage sugo fest but I cannot showcase the team, if I can when Frankie's part is out I will do so in a later date. But for now let's farm some EXP with Jack since they are also boosted in the first 72 hours of the event being live. We are using double jack here of course and I'm also using a hoe for even more EXP. And then as subs we have Kizuna Chopper and v Law or Wayno Law who are the two boosted units. And then we have Ace and Sabo who need to be in the bottom row, the Kizuna Legend. And finally free to play Treasure Map Brook. Some very important things to know about this team. We are using Arena Queen support on our Captain Jack to remove Burn in stage number 4. And we are also using the free to play strength Straw Hat unit on Chopper to remove the Despair in stage number 3 completely. You need to have maximum bind and also Despair sockets. And in stages number 1 and 2 you need to stall enough for you to gain your specials because unfortunately majority of our units are not boosted. In stage 1 you also need to start swapping Ace and Sabo so their super swap is ready to go in stage number 3. Also enter the quest on Ace so you can super swap to Sabo. The dual unit needs to be in the bottom row so they avoid bind in one of the two variations of stage 4. The friend Captain Jack special can either be used in stage number 3 versus Apu which will make the stage extremely easy for you to beat even if you are not great with your perfects and it can also be used in the final stage if you want to have an easier time there. So pick and choose where you want to use it and do so, here I am using it in stage number 3. You need to also super swap to Sabo of course and the Straw Hat support along with sockets will remove despair completely, making it very easy for you to beat Apu if you end your chain on your dex unit. In stage number 4, it does not matter if you get king or queen as the variation, you will do the exact same things. First of all, you want to swap Sabo back to Ace so you get a color affinity boost. And then you want to activate Ace and he will remove bind, despair and also give you a full board of matching slots and an orb boost. Then activate your Captain Jack, so Support Queen also activates removing the burn completely while Jack gives you a chain lock. Attack in this order, ending of course on Ace and Sabo, and generally your 3 Free Spirit units that have the orb boost. And if you have a very good stat boosting support, like for example the free to play local sea monster on Ace and Sabo, along of course with Cotton Candy, you will beat the enemy in one turn. If you are struggling in stage number 4 with your damage, you can change your supports up to get more damage or even your ship. In the final stage now against Sasaki, unfortunately we cannot swap Ace and Sabo again but the damage is still enough. I am going to activate Chopper first to remove attack down and get a full board of matching slots. Then activate Law to get an orb boost, no increasing chain lock unfortunately because of our captain classes. And then activate Treasure Map Brook after Law to remove the damage reduction and get a good attack boost. Only for your Psy and Free Spirit units though, so begin the chain with Chopper and the two Jacks, and then of course end on Law and Brook who have color advantage to beat the enemy. If you want more damage here and you can beat up without Jack, you can use your friend captain here and not in stage number 3. And that is my team with double Jack for EXP but also some event points. If you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments down below and I will try to help. If you enjoy my One Piece Treasure Cruise content I would really appreciate a like, it helps me keep going and you can also subscribe to the channel for more. Thank you so much for watching, take care and I'll see you in the next one.